We all should never that. go on vacation together. <laughs> this is going to end up with me and him in the same bed snoring with sleep apnea masks. No, and but... you two sing crisscross apple stuff, <laughs> you and your tarot cards. <laughs> To drink red wine, is that okay with everyone? Of course. Yeah, I think a little red wine uh, never hurt nobody. Jelly, would you like to glass of red wine? No, I think I'm all right, dude. I okay. just smoked me a big old hooter. Uh, do you want it? <laughs> we, got, we got liquid death, we have sodas too. I'm I like love a liquid root, death. Man. I'm a big root beer, diet root okay. beer fan. Should we open it now so we don't yeah. open it later? Hey, hey, this is a dream episode. I'm dying Dude. to see that fingernail work on that can. <laughs> I'm dying oh God. to see that The pressure's work on, on that now. Can. Hold on. Don't break a fucking finger now. Have someone it. else open it. I, I won't. Do it. I've done this a million I times. Prove a point. <laughs> <laughs> now we're being stubborn. <laughs> if, I could, <laughs> if I can borrow one thing from your wife, it would be those fucking fingernails. <laughs> Leanne, one time. I Just can't one, do it. I can't. One time. One time, We talked Leanne. about it on her this podcast, actually. This is as long actually. as I can get. Just one time. I just want you to I gag me while we fuck. Oh, Here we go. Cheers, guys. It's so good. Salute to me, guys. This is awesome. Fuck yes. Dream episode. We've got Jelly Roll and Bunny, the Yay. dream team, the new, the new power couple in, <laughs> in, in entertainment. No. Who saw it fucking coming? No, no, Who saw it we fucking didn't. I did, I did, I did. You, did. you know I did. You, did. you know I fucking did. No, you did. did. That's a fact. I called this shit, dude. Years ago. When I, I, I'm. <laughs> I should have been a talent manager. I, I swear to God. I, I think, think you did okay. I just find I don't know. I don't know right, right on my own. But I, I see shit that goes, woo, what is that? Like, woo. First time I ever saw you was in Chelsea's dock. Yes. First time I ever saw you was in Chelsea's dock and fucking popped. And I was like, whoa. Because you know what I loved about you is how southernly respectful you were. Right. It was, But it, it is the thing. Where I went, what you're seeing is a different book than the cover. And this is someone much like a lot of the people I know that grew up around where you two grew up. And I fucking fell in love with it. And I started following you. I started fucking hitting you up. I was like, God damn it, this guy's fucking amazing. Everything you did, I was just fucking over the hills about. And then we connected. We did a podcast. And my biggest regret is I didn't drink with you that morning. Oh, my uh, biggest regret. Yeah, I was I, mad hungover though. I had to get an IV in your driveway that day. <laughs> 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 we had went to the Roxy the night before. We played Kimmel for the first time. Remember I told you that we hit a big old ripper off the bar at the Roxy. Oh, so I was yeah. over here hurting. Oh my God. Like, was you looking for your dog? I was. I didn't hear his little paws. Yeah. So I was just wondering oh, where he was. He's just, he was just being oh, a good dog. He's probably he was fucking in Georgia the dog Island. Yeah. He's, yeah. Made, he's made a family here. I'm I not him. sure who my daughters are more excited to see. You guys or your dog. Oh, yeah. dude, listen, the dogs the dogs are hit everywhere he goes. We have a rivalry in the family over the dogs right now. He's trying to make his his Basset Hound a star, and I told him that it'll never happen. He's always going to be in Chachi's shadow. Oh. She sounds a little haterish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just comes off this a little sideways. You know what I mean? Do you find, do you find, and this is, I'm the worst interviewer in the world, do you find that you love animals more when you're sober? I've always loved animals. But, drunk but when you were sober. drinking, did you find I I found I had a disconnect with my animals. Like if I was drinking, I would be not present and not drinking. I fucking love those dogs so much more. Hmm. Like it's almost like we talk to each other. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm back drinking. Maybe it's a but, spiritual. Maybe it's a spiritual thing for you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's more of a spiritual connection when you're sober. When 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 was your love of animals? Because I feel like we got the the same thing here and the same thing here mm -hmm. and this person. Cannot live without animals. I oh, me live. either. Cannot yeah. live. Since I was a, a little girl. Same. Yeah. I've always loved animals you know, and had animals. You can always rely on them. Mm -hmm. Always. Oh, yeah. They'll never let you down. They'll never break your heart. Nope. Yeah. Don't leave. They don't yeah. leave. Uh, you sound yeah. like you're describing us. You can always rely on them, but I can leave. I call him my pound puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have always referred to him as my pound puppy. Listen, hot take, real talk. When I was a bad human, Hated dogs, hated kids. Did you first really? got together. Dogs and kids hated me. It was like, and I was a bad human. I know that. I'll never forget, dude. True story. As soon as I get out of jail, the first gas station from the jail, Bert. I'm in the gas station. It's like 12:03 in the morning, and this little kid. I'm in Antioch, so this is typical. This little kid <laughs> runs up to me in the middle of the night and just grabs my leg Aww. and starts hugging my leg. I swear it's a true story. And the mother walks over Bert and goes, "I'm so sorry. He never does that." And right then I was like, I really am fucking changing. Like I know I like it was like proof to me 
Because yeah. in jail, you're telling yourself you're changing. You know, it's jail talk. You're like, I'm changing. I'm, you know, you got your spirit right and your mind right. But to come home and see that ever since then, dude, fucking kids love me. I love kids. <laughs> dogs love me. I yeah. love dogs. Yeah. We had a cat. She wants a goddamn crow. And a you want to talk a crow? A crow? Listen, don't get her. Hold on, hold on. I want parrots. Work. I want parrots, I want and I want a, a savanna cat, and I want snakes. I want to turn my backyard into I want a kingdom. A raccoon. <laughs> yeah, same. I want a raccoon, and I want crows. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I would and love. A, I would love a murder of crows in my house. Me too. Oh, fuck. I tell them that all the time. That's As you come crazy. out, they yeah. just yeah. see you, and they're like, oh, yeah. 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 She had chickens for a long time. Are you weirded out by crows, though? No, I'm not weirded out by. I'm fucking weirded out by crows and Bunny is like putting fucking pennies in our front yard trying to track these motherfuckers. I have a a crow altar. I have a crow altar. Yes, that I put out. They have started to take a liking to me. You have to earn their trust. You do. Crows do not just pick anybody. No. You have to actually like earn their trust. That's and right. like once they love you, they'll follow you for generations. Listen to the fucking and, women we and, married. She's no, nodding and, to her going, you got to earn a crow's no, trust. No. And then goes, uh-huh, But uh-huh. more than that, if they love you, they bring you gifts. Yes. yes. That's, oh, why, yes. Is, that's why I was leaving out shiny yes. stuff. This is fucking horrible. This is yeah. a fucking this is shit show. This is everything I thought it was going to be. We should never go on vacation together. This is going to end up with me and him in the same bed snoring with sleep apnea masks. No, and you two sing crisscross applesauce, <laughs> you and your tarot cards. <laughs> Not when do we leave? Cards. When do we leave? Yeah, I'm ready. My bags amazing. are already packed. Let's go. They should have named never gave us money. <laughs> <laughs> this is only been fucked up. This is the wrong people to make rich. <laughs> That's not true. We're the no. best people. Oh. See, I think so too. Did you yeah. ever think you'd be rich? No. Yes. I thought about this answer first. No, I didn't. Look how rich I am. Keep going. <laughs> <doing this. laughs> Not sure that's accurate. You don't know where our money is. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't know where it is. It's like, no. Nah. <laughs> you, know you don't even know where your bank card is. You can't exactly. find Exactly. You wear the pants, she controls the zipper. I told you. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yes. I don't know where okay. any of her money is. And, no, and, I get it. And by it. the way, we would be broke if it was my money. <laughs> <laughs> I would have spent it on the dumbest shit. Shit. On dogs. <laughs> <laughs> on dogs and Savannah cat monitors. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta, start making, I gotta start making <laughs> pasta. Hold on. Today I'm making, so I know we have dietary restrictions. Today I'm making, I know you don't eat red meat. And I know my diet is pretty crazy. I'm gonna go off the rails today. One of my favorite dishes to make in the world is uh, homemade pasta, handmade pasta. It's a loving dish. I feel like when you make it from scratch, you put all the energy into it. And so we have this roller. We're gonna hand make some pasta. We're gonna roll it out. We're gonna get some noodles. We're gonna boil them. And then I'm gonna do nests for each three of you, three different styles. We have scallops with garlic and butter. We have a hair pasta, only because it's the hardest I've ever laughed when I was high. I was in Amsterdam and the guy said, I was like, I'll take the pasta. He goes, do you want hair in it? And I was like, no. <laughs> and he was like, it's pretty good. And I was like, whose hair is it? He goes, it's ours. And he's like, everyone seems to like it. And I was like, I'm not fucking I go, And I couldn't stop laughing. I go, you really want hair in pasta? And he goes, you should try it. And I went, all right, put your fucking hair in my pasta. And then he came. So I go, it's rabbit, motherfucker. Yeah. But we have rabbit. You can try that or not try it. I don't know if that's red meat. Technically, it's yeah. vermin. So, um, and then I also have a, a, uh, a pink sauce I'm going to do. Uh, all homemade, all handmade, but uh, and if and j- all you have to do is sample it a little bit. I know everyone's got everyone. I'm like a crazy. My I never liked people with dietary restrictions, and now I'm so strict. Isn't it crazy how age changes that mm-hmm. for you? Did you get bit by a tick? No. Did you I look like no, no, it? no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm I mean, I've been bit by a bunch of them. But it's just, uh, no, her, it's a redneck thing. We went to her fucking, her family. Never and her gonna cousin, stop talking about it. Her, 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 I, I, you know when someone tells you like a, a real sincere ailment? Oh. And, they, and he goes, what? Well, I can't eat nothing with a hoof. And I went, what? I've never heard of this. It's very popular in this country. If you get bit by ticks, you get allergic, deathly allergic to red meat. Oh, well, to no. anything with a hoof. Anything oh. with a hoof. And so, so I was like, well, that. you're a redneck adjacent. Yeah. And no, so, no, I've, yeah. Been bit, I've been bit by a bunch of ticks. I, just, <laughs> I thought you seen something over there that alerted you. I'm that high, bird. I was like, do I look like I had bit by a tick? I kind of got scared for a second. I was like, are there ticks back there? You didn't tell me before I went and got high? <laughs> All right, I'm going to start Is the there hair. a reason you didn't offer me a glass of water? <laughs> oh, just, yes, yes, yes. Just yes. asking. <laughs> 
No, I just, you know what's so funny? I just had you Peter offer me his dad, but <laughs> glass of wine. I'm a little confused. All right, confused. glass of wine, Leanne. Thank you, buddy. I, 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 I'm assuming the answer, but it'd be rude if I didn't ask. Do you want a glass of wine? No, thank you. Okay, good, thank Thanks, you. Babe. That's so funny. Hey, do you? Can you? I know you guys are open books, and I want to open the book as much as possible because I feel like sometimes people uh, jump in like tenth chapter with people like you, mm -hmm. and they don't know your whole story or your whole story, which I find the most endearing. And I know you just did a podcast with Leanne. You can go check out Wife of the Party if you want to see that, and that'll so tell good. the whole story. But I love, I love the impulsiveness of your relationship, how quick it happened, and how strong you guys are. I just watched you guys kissing on a car with one leg up on a shoulder, and I was like, <laughs> that's a fucking squad ball for me and Leanne. It's, but it's so fucking sexy, and it's so hot that you guys are legit a Nashville power couple I mean this with respect, but that no one would have put chips on. Ever. Yeah. Ever. We've always been the underdogs. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's why I fight bullies because, you know, it's <laughs> like I just always stand up to the bullying online because it's like we're, we're not supposed to be here. Yeah. We're, yeah, it's already a I'm worried, Bert. Yeah. Well, why do you think you I, are the show's here? Called you something's say, burning. I know, right? As soon as I see burnt words, what he had, I got tired. Really hot. Hot. You should have yeah. not made that that hot. Okay, <laughs> keep going. No, tell us about your story. Sorry, I'm glad. I'm glad I got alarmed. <laughs> yeah, this show is sponsored by HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh? You're asking yourself. Well, I will tell you. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you're going to like. Delivered right to your door, each HelloFresh box is packed with farm-fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep with less hassle and less wasted food. Um, that's the key to this. All ingredients, and I say all ingredients because so many times you go to start cooking and you go, do we have uh, malted vinegar? Do we have, they give you everything. Everything you need is going to be right there. And so the next time that you're cooking, you know how to make great. I only know what fondant is because of HelloFresh. And I am such a fondant player. I made a soup for Georgia the other day and I, I, I stole from HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash burning free. And use code burning free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash burning free with code burning free. America's number one meal kit. So if you you said you're not supposed to be here, then why do you think you are here? Um because we wanted to be here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think we I think it was truly purpose. The manifest. I think yeah, it. I think I think it was like um I say when I say it, I mean it. It's like I think what we do is so different mm -hmm. as far as like how we approach, especially for me with the music and just our love, you mm -hmm. know, is that I think it just shares something with people. I don't know. I think it, I think it's useful. I think it has a, has a service act to it, to a degree. And I think that's what really connects. I think that's what me and her talk about the most though, Leanne, is that we focus on connection over entertainment anyways. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just all about connection for us. We're not, neither one of us, are, well, she's entertaining. I'm not very entertaining. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you are Please. pretty fucking entertaining. You're entertaining, too. No, you're a hoot and a half. But <laughs> I also think it's just, and I don't like saying this because it's like, if, is it real if you say it? But it's like, we're just us. And we're not trying to sell you something. Right. Like, we're just like, take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is how we are. If you fuck with us, you do. If you don't, then it's okay. I'll tell you what's sexy about you guys is that... I got to call someone out a little bit. Nate Borgazzi said to me, gave me a very big compliment one time. And he said, you know what I like about you is you like your fans. Mm. And I said, yeah, I love, I'm almost jealous of my fans sometimes because they get to go to a, something they like. And I love going to shit I like. I love it. And so when I see them, I get excited that they get to do the thing they like. I think it's awesome. And he said, dude, that translates is that you like your fans. I love my fans. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to skirt dance around it. But sometimes people don't get the fans they want and they don't like the fans they have. And, and you can see them not like their fans. Mm. And, and sometimes there's a Hollywood snobbery about what your fans are right. that I, I just have never connected with because I was so lucky to get anyone to like me that if you liked me, fucking I love you. And it's the coolest thing about you is that your fans 
I feel are unrepresented people right. that they show up and they go, no one's talking to me the way mm -hmm. he is. And no one's, we haven't dressed up country music. We haven't uh, razzle dazzled it, sparkled it up. It's just real. Right. It's, it, this is, this is stuff that talks to my lifestyle. I'm not saying I even need to be a country music fan. I just grew up in Antioch, Tennessee, and this is the shit that I resonate with. Right. It's the same thing as Dwight Yoakam. Dwight Yoakam wasn't meant to be sexy. He's not oh. a good looking man. Right. He's my favorite. I almost like, wore a t-shirt today. But if you grew up in, in the foothills of fucking <laughs> Texas, you get Dwight Yoakam. Right. Or, in, or in, in the foothills of Appalachia, you get, get Dwight Yoakam. And I think that's the coolest thing about you is that your fans fucking, they connect. No, oh, dude. And, and you connect with them. Yes. That's yeah. back what we're saying, man. It's, it's all about connection with us. And it's like... And I think, I don't know, Bert, you saying that's so real because it's like, I look at it like they're really us. Yeah. Like it's really just, I'm in the seat. You know what I mean? Bro. Like I'm just saying what I wish somebody would have said for us. You know what I mean? Does wow. that make sense? Like that's that all I'm doing. I'm so just like, yo, this is sense. fucking, you know what I mean? Like. All right, I'm going to get ready to make the pasta. I only want to walk you through this because I think this is so fucking hot. Okay. He said that this is so sexy and I was thinking we need to do this one night yeah, at right. home. Cook? Make noodles. Oh, yeah. Homemade yeah. noodles. Oh, yeah. 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 I was like, cook? I'm like, I'll cook with you anytime. <laughs> I was like, I'm in the Me and Bert were just like. <laughs> uh, I think then you guys right. are actually <laughs> almost like twins. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, is it not <laughs> crazy? It's crazy. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Leanne and I have so many similarities, too. It's crazy. We were, oh. I was just telling her that it, you guys need women like us to keep you grounded. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah. Will you sing at my funeral? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Oh, guys, no. I want to fucking snag that. No. Fucking, yeah. 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 How about you both die on the same day? Oh, uh, hey, we can do that. Dies. Let's go to Vegas tonight. Just, 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 just start talking now. Just start just son of a bitch. Talk about dying at all. No. Just look at these two. They're like, hold on, guys. They just started making money. All right. I just want to show you how to make pasta. I think it's so fucking sexy, okay? And this is my favorite thing in the world that I'm going to fuck up. We make a little pocket in here, yeah. okay? And this is all done with a fork in your hand. And I will say that my forks are in the, uh, a thing I can't open. Oh, because okay. of the thing? I got it, I got it. So we crack four eggs inside this pasta. That's right, I can do it with one hand. I was like, that's awesome. I ain't gonna lie, I have to use both. both. Me too. Yeah. We got salt in there. I fucking love making homemade pasta. Mm -hmm. And now you just start really kind of just welcoming in. You know what else it is? Nothing else matters right now. Mm -hmm. You can't think about nothing but just not fucking that up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's probably one of the few things in life that actually gets you to do that. <laughs> well, now all I'm thinking about is fucking this up. <laughs> I'm going like, don't spill off the fucking thing. Yeah, right? A little bit of OCD. My OCD bit, is bit, crazy. I know it might sound nerdy, but that's why I play video games. It's like the only thing I can oh, do that yeah. when I'm doing it, fucking nothing else is happening. Mm -hmm. I'm just like fucking, you know what I mean? Makes yeah. sense. You're in another world. You guys have so much going on too. You have to have some kind of way. It's like, you, you have so much intensity, you have to have some recovery. What does your recovery look like? Um, I got some time down whenever I go home now, but you know the biggest thing I did this year was, dude, I probably drank 25 days a month last year, mm -hmm. and I probably drank 27 times this year. Mm. Really? Yeah, he's just been it keeping down. it heavy on the green, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just fucking smoking I'm, I'm, a lot I'm of pot. I'm saying to your wife, I'm not yeah. sober by any yeah. stretch of the means. Marijuana has been like a fucking yeah. gift to me. Yeah, right? It's yeah. fucking, dude, it's it. It's the wonder drug for me, dude. It just yeah. instantly, like, fucking. And if I get really good and high, I don't want to fuck it up with a drunk. I don't either. You know I what I mean? Like, if I get a really you get the good spins, high. though, don't you, yeah. if you do that? If you mix them? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I like mixing stuff. Yeah, I you know. know, you know. <laughs> it is, that is my preference. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I, I used to only drink as a vessel to cocaine. It was just a vehicle to blow. You know what I'm saying? Same. It's like, how many of these do I have to drink before I can justify an eight ball? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what myself. I think about a sandwich, is the meat is just a vessel for bread. Yeah. I just That's the bread. nerdiest <laughs> conversation I've ever heard. I fucking <laughs> love Leah, dude. <laughs> That's how I feel about sandwiches. That's real, though. I love it. <laughs> don't y'all love a good <laughs> sandwich? Y'all, I just don't get it Sorry. I love it. <laughs> but sandwiches, <laughs> I do. Pasta is like good sex. It's not wet at first, but once it gets wet. I was just about to ask, does it ever get wet? 
No. I just had yes, a moment. Yes, when you work it enough, it gets. Uh, I mean, not wet, amen, but sister. You know. amen, sister. It's about how you work it. Keep going, Leah. Tell them what you like. Do you feel like you've earned Speaking yours tonight? Yes. Can we talk about this? So they have this yes. thing that they do. I don't know if the kids want to tune out, but they have this thing that they do. Bert brought in this immaculate vase of flowers, and it, I was like, "What is that for?" And why don't you tell me what it was for? Well, this morning. Uh, earmuffs, my children, earmuffs. This morning he was like, hey, how about you? Uh-uh. And I was yeah. like, no, I'm so busy. I'm not doing that Because he right does now. the same thing you do. And like, he's like, she could come be... on, come on. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm so <laughs> busy. the same thing you do. Like, like we'll be running knows. out, like, so busy having to be somewhere in, like, 10 minutes. And you're like, hey, you want to suck my dick? And I'm like, no, I don't have time, you know? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're romantics. <laughs> you yeah. you yeah. got to shoot your shot, Yeah, like, it's, yeah, yeah. like it's fun for me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to do that. Exactly. What do I get in return? Anything? Yeah. Hey, nothing? Okay, thanks. No. Stacy, no. I feel like I need one more egg in here. Oh, for real? So what I said to him this morning was, you can have it, but you got to earn it. <laughs> so he made me breakfast. He's been really sweet to me all day. And then he bought me this huge huge, beautiful flower arrangement that came in the middle of our podcast. So I think he maybe has earned it. Wait, what is that? Aw, <laughs> you know yes, Aww. I do. Well, is it you guys' anniversary? What's no, on? no, no. I wanted to have sex this morning. Oh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, talking, okay. I'm earning it. I'm earning it. I'm earning it. Thanks, <laughs> baby doll. You are so I'm drunk. It may take away. Awesome. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I think he maybe has earned it. I've never watched somebody... Make pasta. No, it's cool. Well, good. This is how this... it's done then. This is I've how it's done. Listen, <laughs> I've never seen this process ever. It's fucking arts and crafts. I'm just hey, waiting. Is Josh, I'm... is Josh Adam Myers working with you on the road? Yeah, he did. A, he did He's the whole tour. Fucking amazing, right? Bro, he did. The, he brought the like his best version energy. of the. I love seeing the, him succeed. It's the comedy jam. It's He's like the his version of that on tour. Best. It's a 20 minute changeover every yeah. time between acts. So it's like I was like, what can we do to fill that up? So he does like the the goddamn comedy jam version between sets now. It's incredible, dude. He goes out there and gets the crowd. Like, it's just fun. It's super interactive. He crowd serves, gives mm -hmm. away tickets every he's night. It's a really awesome. cool He's a thing. great dude. What a great opportunity you gave him to put him in front of an audience that may not necessarily see. Well, this, Jelly's, this, hang on. Jelly's different. And this is, I think, once again, where we connect. Jelly's like a fan artist first. Like, mm. he loves shit. He loves good shit. Yeah. And he's always been that. He's not a hater. Yeah. He doesn't fucking dislike shit because that's the popular thing to do. I say this all the time now. I'd never be too cool to be a fan. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Number one dude, never be too cool to be a fan. Mm. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Trim your balls and your date will thank us too. What's up, fellas? Valentine's Day is knocking and Manscaped is the remedy for what the love doctor ordered. His prescription, the all-new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, designed to elevate your grooming game and shine like the heartthrob you are. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com to snag 20% off plus free shipping with code BURNING. Let's talk about the hero of Valentine's Day. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This electric trimmer features skin safe technology guarding your V Day treasure against any grooming mishaps. And let me tell you, if you are a groomer like I am, you can't trust anyone else. This is the go to for my balls and Leanne's nether regions. It also comes with their brightest LED spotlight yet. It's brighter than your best romantic smile. Perfect for precise grooming, even in the trickiest spots. And we know where those are. Oh, and it's waterproof too making shower shaves a breeze. Get 20% off and free shipping with code burning at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code burning because your grooming upgrade awaits. Ready to charm your Valentine dates? Do it. Secret treat. Boiled peanuts. I made boiled peanuts. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I made boiled peanuts. Let's fucking go. They, I, I'm and not sure. Cool I don't think they're. Any, I don't yeah. know if they're any good. You should check them out. See if you like them. So I did a sweet Thai chili. It's my favorite. Oh, oh you seasoned it. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite. They look hot. Do you just eat the shell too? You I can. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. So I did a sweet Thai chili. I think they need salt, maybe. They're really hot. Put my gum right. There. But they're yeah, scorched and be careful. But they're. I like the Dorito sweet Thai chili. Here. Well, I guess I have a napkin, oh, don't I? Not. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, Jesus. 
All right, stir that around, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to raise yeah. the blood pressure, Bert. <laughs> yeah, here. Bubba, can I bother you for another liquid death? Of course. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Fine. baby, you dropped it. They're fine. So, oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. And then, here. That's good. They said to put some of this on. That's what they do with the Cajun ones. So I want to do a sweet Thai chili because I feel like, you know, if we're going to start real businesses, Jelly, we need to get into some redneck <laughs> shit. Yo, and there's a lot of red, red, There's a works. lot of fucking white space <laughs> and fucking boiled peanuts. All they got is Cajun and salted. Thank you so much. I've never had a boiled peanut. No. Nope. Who's hers? Really? Boy, but they get better. All over the yeah. South. You can't yeah, go anywhere without them. They're awesome, too. I feel like there could be so much more done with boiled peanuts. Yeah, we could like definitely ranch take ones, over the entire like uh, flavored boiled peanuts. Uh -huh. Like you could do ranch or like dill pickle flavored. Wrap like snacks are pickle. fucking outrageous. Yeah. This could be the white trash wrap snacks, Bert. We do curry, do like a a sweet Thai chili. Yo, I love it. White right. trash wrap snacks, dude. Another, <laughs> another liquid there death. Another liquid death. You know the big thing now is alcohol, yeah. uh, weed. Mm -hmm. Weed okay. uh, drinks. Yes. I don't know. I don't trust them. I'm scared of anything that activates that quick unless it's mushrooms. I prefer to drink a mushroom yeah. over a, like, eat one. You know what I mean? But oh, I'd rather yeah, eat an terrible. edible than drink. A, does that make sense or am I high? Ian, how do you feel about eating mushrooms? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I like would you talking. Eat, would you eat yeah. mushrooms, Leanne? I don't think so. I don't really like drugs. I mean, I'm so boring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I let's I let's not call a plant a drug, okay? Let's be polite to the fungus, Hallucinogenic? Right? Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, I'm I'll not take into that. I don't know it makes you feel I... a little less dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been, I don't know. I've never done a hallucinogenic. Have you ever, so... you've never done mushrooms? No. You would be I've never a done fucking cocaine. She'd be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, dude, you she might. No. She might. <laughs> or, or she not. might not. Dude, I think it's worth rolling the dice. No, Bert, I swear, not. dude. I think right, so you gotta, cute. you gotta watch on this pasta, right? Yeah, but let's do the pink sauce. Okay, let's start doing the pink sauce. Uh, yeah. Do you like a so, pink sauce? Yeah, is the pink sauce like a vodka sauce? Yes. Kind of. Okay. Yes. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this pot. <laughs> I'm getting excited though. Yeah, it'll be yummy. We'll where, what happened to nests. the dough? Where, yeah, where it's resting. The, um, it's got to oh, rest. Resting, okay. Oh, you put it in the fridge or the freezer? Uh, put it in the room temperature. Room temperature. Okay. Is your dog allergic to any foods? No, he loves okay, it all. Okay, good, good. No, no. <laughs> he no. loves it all. The uh, super easy. It is. He's so sweet. It is peppers, shallots, garlic, uh, a little white wine to reduce. And then we do the, the the red sauce, and then we put the cream and cheese in later. I was saying that out loud to make sure I was doing that right. All right, perfect. <laughs> Double checking with the yeah. boss. <laughs> do you guys cook at home? Oh, yeah. Oh, I cook all cook every cooks, day. Man. For real? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What do you yeah, like cooking? Cook, cook. Um, I do a vodka sauce with protein pasta and ground protein chicken. Protein pasta? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's you know, I so almost long. made I almost made a non uh a keto pasta because mm -hmm. I'm I'm keto. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I don't I don't like putting my dietary restrictions on other people. Oh, we're <laughs> open to whatever. Yeah. You guys are open to weather? Oh cool. That's why Leanne and I brought you here. So we're thinking <laughs> obviously <laughs> You missed it. They almost kissed. Oh, <laughs> it was close. Leanne almost made me cry and I was just like, Leanne, do you want to make out? Oh <laughs> <laughs> so that Distract. I didn't cry. Distract. <laughs> Leanne's a better kisser today than she was when I met her. Oh is that right? Yeah. I like had a teacher, me. obviously. Or maybe you're a better kisser. <laughs> uh, I'm the no. grossest kisser in the world. Are you all tongue or lips? Uh, I have a lot of tongue. Oh. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of eye contact. Oh, that's the eye worst. <laughs> I, that's actually not true. Not a lot of, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of oral hygiene. <laughs> oh, that's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am not. I would never kiss me. There's times she's kissed me and I was like... She needs to brush her teeth. No, <laughs> stop and then it. I'm like, wow, she went through that. That's crazy. He's just lucky I grew up with a bunch of men. Yeah. Right? A bunch of bras. Mm -hmm. bunch of butt My wife's the there. opposite. She'll like worry about like Bunny will wake straight up and her breath will smell incredible. And she'll still be like, hold on, I gotta run. You know, Bunny's like, I gotta run, and I'm just fucking last night's liquor on my shit. Just oh. ah, come she woke me up the other morning and said, "You cannot drive our daughter to school." Yeah. And then she goes, "You reek of alcohol." And I'm like, For real? She was like, "Yeah, you need to go back to bed." <laughs> yeah, I've been good with booze. 
uh, this year, this end of this year, starting from July on, yeah. I've been really good with booze. Very good. You've yeah. lost a lot of weight. How's yeah, that weight loss? I feel great. I feel amazing. Thank you very much. I feel very amazing. I feel amazing. Can I say something? It might be a wrong analysis, but I feel like oh. you're in a place in your life where right now you're just training for fully loaded. You know what I'm saying? You're like a fighter that's, that's cutting an accurate assessment. to get to fully there loaded. There is an accurate fucking And then fucking you're going to completely unravel for four months. Yep, you know that what is I'm a saying? fucking accurate assessment. And that's going to be your new balance in life is eight and four. Eight mm. months of getting yeah. ready for four just fucking, right. just fucking hell week. Oh. Fully I, uh, loaded. The fully loaded comedy festival. Mm. Me, remember being Bailey went. Mm -hmm. So of course you met my daughter that night. Yes. I brought my yes. fifteen year old, mm -hmm. our fifteen year old, and me and her still talk. I mean, it might have been one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. That was fucking an incredible evening. But it, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of shows, man, because I'm a fan. Back to being not too cool to be a fan. I love I going. I, to I, I don't think you'll he fail if you're comedy. a fan. Yeah, I don't think you'll fail if you're a fan. Yeah, because you never stop loving what you do, For and sure. you never stop appreciating the people that are even getting bigger than you. For sure, dude. dude I'll tell you. We were just talking about Lainey, Lainey Wilson. Lainey Wilson. Yeah. Lainey Wilson. Yeah. I'm a fan. Lainey would do this too, by the way. I would yeah. love Lainey's Lainey like, Wilson. I got a couple of friends in country music that mm -hmm. would like come do this kind of shit because this is kind of wild, you know? Yeah. It's, For it's like not, what we it's, did. It's not typical Nashville doesn't understand yeah. this. But right. Lainey is like one of the ones that would like come over here right now and be a hoot and a half. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's she did Theo. She's got such a You know what I mean? She did Theo. She, she, she did Theo? Yeah, she did Theo, man. I can't you know, wait she's to hear from that. Louisiana. Oh, you would love her. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's from Louisiana, so it was just a thing. But you'd love her too, man. She's a sweet, sweet song. I would love to do an interview. And her dude, man, Duck. Was a was a college athlete. He threw football at like Iowa or something. Wait, like who's that. your who's your boy? Uh, Duck Devlin Hodges. Really? Yeah, you'd love him, dude. Man, he's a he's a he's a real mm. college athlete. I'll he tell shows you. up to award shows in like camo suits. Yeah, oh he my doesn't God. give a yeah. fuck. I love that. Me and no, Duck, awesome. me and Duck have got. We do you think, do you think that's why? I, this is me a little buzz talking out of my ass. Do you think that's why everyone's gravitating towards comedy and country music? Is that no one's really lying? Yeah. They are who they are. Absolutely. 100%. Well, I think yeah. the middle of the country doesn't lie about who mm. they are. They just are <laughs> who they are. Yeah. Right. right? Where we grew up right. in Ohio and Nebraska yes. and Texas. Mm -hmm. Once you get to the coast, I think it starts. I mean, I live in the coast. I love California. I love everything about where I live. But it is a little bit of a different mentality. Oh, yeah. You know? For and sure. One's not better than the other. They're just different. Yeah. They're just really different. And the middle of America, I think, Get sometimes lost on the coast. The coast don't get it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's really great. That one? Okay. What's happening in comedy is really inspiring. And yeah. same with country music. It's really inspiring. Yeah. Support for Something's Burning comes from Eight Sleep at this point. I'm sure you heard of Eight Sleep. Their buzzworthy mattress cover called the Pod can be added to your existing mattress automatically to cool down or warm up each side of your bed and in turn improve your sleep quality dramatically the pod cover by eight sleep fits on your bed like a fitted sheet it includes seamless sensors that track your sleep and health while you sleep stay asleep with automatic temperature adjustments throughout the night to cool and warm as you need based on your personal sleep patterns and environment it's clinically validated for deeper sleep fewer wake-ups fall asleep faster let me tell you something right now we put ours on our bed I love cold sleep. I love cold sleep. I'm a sweater. I just am. And Leanne's going through menopause. I wasn't supposed to say that. But cold sleep is the key. My sleep efficiency is at like 98% every single night. I love my eight sleep. Improve the way you sleep by using my link at eightsleep.com slash burning for $200 off plus free shipping on their high-tech pod three cover. That's eightsleep.com slash burning for a better, smarter sleep. Yo, this right. shit's starting to smell really good, Bert. Yeah, oh, it smells yeah. amazing. Just so you know, when you started fucking with this, yeah. it started getting all up in the sinus cavities. Mm -hmm. What are we what are we looking at with <laughs> possibly? We start rolling it yet? No. Um, start the next sauce. Yeah. Uh, next sauce half butter. butter. Yep, yep, half that butter, garlic. I love good knives. You know what's cool about this dynamic about doing it with our wives? Mm. What's up? Until you gotta ask somebody a question about something. I forget we're filming. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I've had a couple of moments where I really was sitting here mm -hmm. like, yo, we're just fucking having a dinner date. Just man. Bert's cooking for us. Yeah, yeah. Bert's fucking cooking. <laughs> this is this exactly is. what it would be like if you were at my house. Yeah. Aww, that's what, I love that. It's and a vibe. that's why, to his testament of what started all this is, why is comedy winning? 
or why is country winning? It's that connectivity of like you know what the fuck you get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you know who these people are. It's awesome, dude. You know, you know who I am to a fault. I think. I think I, I, I could have bit my tongue a couple of times. Our kids probably would appreciate a little less. <laughs> we, had, we had someone on the podcast. I the bet other they day. just love you guys for who you guys are, though, too. But you know, it's like it's like the, I don't know how to do it a different way. Yeah, I just know how to be who I am and be who I am to my fullest. And and if and I, I'm afraid because I do tell stories. I'm afraid my I'm I got really early. I got nervous, and I just go. I I was like, tell the truth. Just tell the truth about everything. Tell all your secrets. Get it all out there. It's what the thing I love the most about Stern. Tell all your truth, tell all your secrets, and then you never have to, never have to worry about getting caught mm -hmm. up in, in a lie. Yep. Right. Just tell the truth. That's what we did. And then all of a sudden your truths sometimes freak people out. Oh yeah. And they're sometimes a little aggressive for everybody. And some and sometimes they people connect with them. But ultimately they're your truths. And you yeah. can't deny who the fuck you are. That's how you keep your power. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because nobody can yeah. It's all they can yours. use it against you. They can't use it against you if you Shine light on it. Is it. And life's too short. It's exhausting to be somebody else. Oh, sure. I couldn't imagine. Well, especially, especially when yeah. you're going to put yourself in the public eye. Yeah. You can't have a private life. No. You just got to be who you are all the yeah. time. That's what me and her decided early. And we have this talk all the time. You guys have been, you guys especially have been now old, getting, like, super open. Very. Oh, yeah. no. Like, you, when you talk <laughs> about your past, I go, I, I, I don't know. It makes me feel like I fall in love with you. Mm. Oh. So I go, too, no one does right. that. No one does that. No. It's no, awesome. Nobody talks oh, about I appreciate it. Like, it. Like, it's yeah. inspiring. Yeah. What does 15 years from now look like for you guys? Well, I was telling Leanne, so she told me so many gems in this podcast that they do that I absolutely love. I told her about how we did the five year plan. How you, he wouldn't bang me the first night. He made me make a five year plan and then he. Uh, me. I did the same thing. <laughs> What's it called, baby? Uh, I thought you were a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought women were whores. All right, it's, listen, I was a misogynist. I got the therapy. Keep going. <laughs> but they do a thing called every year because you know how you always want these five year plans oh, and we just haven't had fuck. time to sit down and plan it. Yeah. They do something every year called the summit. Ooh. Where they come to the table and go ahead, tell them. About and we talk about everything. What do you want? What? How much money? No do we feelings have? are there. Where are the scary places? What do you want to achieve? What do you want for your kids? What do you want for your marriage? What are you doing? Yeah. Where are you? And here's where I am. Right. And it's not emotional. It's just like a meeting. Yeah. yeah. Because you know, a marriage is a relationship, but it's also kind of a, a business. Partnership. For sure. It's a partnership. Mm -hmm. So. We have, we've been doing that forever. Yep. And we call it the idea. summit because Bird is not a like five year plan guy that's too <laughs> He's dramatic. You gotta no, be okay. like, <laughs> yes, you know, there's gotta be some kind of firework, <laughs> ticker tape parade. Yeah. So I like the razzle dazzle in life. Yeah. 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 I can show up for a summit. <laughs> if you wanna like have a family meeting, yeah. no. it sounds like I gotta quit drinking. No. Or start, <laughs> or start like drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, what we're putting No, but I thought that was amazing, right? Yeah, that's all. I'm, I'll sign up for a summit. Well, we do the vision boards, too. We do a vision too. board every yeah, year. Yeah, we do the vision boards every year. Vision boards are awesome. Vision huh? boards are fucking awesome. Yeah. Vision boards are awesome. I, every year on my birthday, I uh, I write down goals for every year I, I'm old. He I've been doing it, it since privately? I was 26. Yeah. Totally I take myself to dinner Aww. and I do it. I love shit. I love shit people would make fun of. Because I think ultimately in high school, I was the guy that you should have made fun of. Uh, I was that guy. And, I, and I've and i been that guy my whole fucking life. This is a lot of scallops for three people. <laughs> but like, sure I've always been that goal. person. And I like that person. And I've looked up to that person. That's what's so cool about what's going on on social media. And I know this is mockable very easily. But like, the whole thing about this self-help journey and these self-help gurus... I like it. I don't dislike I it. it. Listen, if I don't believe you, I don't listen to you. Absolutely. Yeah. You just then, scroll. Said, yeah, mm -hmm. you just scroll. Yeah. Same thing with art. If you don't like it, just keep scrolling. Keep I don't want to be to spend time For shitting sure. on you. I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. If you grow up in a in a family unit or a culture that stays the same generation after generation, yeah. how do you learn something new if you're yeah. not exposed to it? Yeah. And social media can expose you to stuff that you may not have yeah. any access to. I mean, my hometown had 1,600 people, mm. one red light, you know? They were, I, I had like three people I could date in high school and they were my third cousins. Oh, like shit. it was not an option to yeah. be She actually dated a cousin. <laughs> I didn't know he was my cousin until we broke up and my dad went, thank God, you know he's your cousin. Oh, you know? what? <laughs> like, damn dad, you thank you. you. Yeah. No, heads up. Everything goes to shit. That's it.
Everything's done. Everyone's dead. Oh, gosh. It's just you on this earth and a pile of this drug in a library with books. <laughs> and that's it. No one's on this earth. Yeah. Hey, let's go around the room. What are you doing, Daddy? Let's, Hot. Hey, no one's on this earth. Yeah, I'm it's you in a library. You got all uh, powers up forever. You can watch videos. You can yeah. watch play video games. But it's you. You're the only person on earth. And this drug. And you have no reason to live. There's no reason to live. What's the drug? What's the drug? What's the book and or video game and or author or TV show? I'll start. All right. <laughs> it is going to be vodka. All right. It's going to be the TV show Quantum Leap. Oh, my God. <laughs> For real? Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh and you leave me alone. You leave me alone. I wouldn't mind a couple 40s in there, but that's it. <laughs> That's but vodka's not a drug. What's the drug? Uh, I don't know if I need the drug. I think alcohol's okay, a Okay, so alcohol's yeah. a choice too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol, right. you think alcohol. <laughs> I'm taking weed. Oh, I'm good taking, fucking yeah, call. I'm taking, it's going to be a slow death, for by the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting taking cancer weed. in fucking 10 yeah. years. Yeah. I'm taking Call of Duty. Are we trying to die? Yeah, I'm taking yeah. Call of Duty and weed? Yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, okay. I'm taking weed. Who wrote a bunch of books? I'm taking R.L. Stein. Uh, Nobody wrote John more Grissom. books than Ron. I think he wrote more books than everybody. Right. He I'm was an the, audio he listener. Was the, mm -hmm. He was the Goosebumps guy, right? Wasn't R.L. Yeah, R.L. Yeah. Did you just pick Goosebumps for your fucking book? Bro, yeah. <laughs> there's like a thousand <laughs> of them. Okay, I didn't know to go Goosebumps. He was going for volume. He was going for volume. Hold on a second. Let me just give you a... Squeeze, read Goosebumps. Hold on. We can get all Scholastic books? I didn't know there Scholastic books. I was going to say my favorite author, but he's only got like seven books. I didn't pick a book. It's got to be John Grissom, and I'll just read those. There's a lot of them. He's got a lot, too. I'd probably pick, like, God, Lord of the Rings, know. and I can't remember any of their names. Yeah. So I'm like, Vlodhard. Vlodhard? <laughs> or why did someone name someone Vlodhard? Yeah. Ooh, a little lemon, lemon juice. Lemon juice. I'll put in some capers. Fuck yeah. yeah you guys want some capers? Caper. That's not how you do capers. Thank you, Stacy. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Do not thank Stacy. No one sees her. No one sees her. This show is sponsored by DraftKings. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that will help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet 5 bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BURNING. New customers can bet just 5 bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code BURNING. The crown is yours. What time do we have? Do you check out the yard? We're one hour in. We are not at 9.30 yet. We got Bless planes you. to catch. We got You're cities good. to go to. Jelly, please take these joints with you. Oh, I will. I rolled them for you. Brother, you I want you no to have clue. them. Uh, All right, thank they're you. They're so fucking good. And, uh, I and promise you they'll be put to use. That's what I love about you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I love you too, Bob. But I, 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 I know that... I noticed that I, Let's get real for a second. That's Ooh. what I love about you. That's what I love about myself. Stacy can get out of my shot. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the thing that our wives worry about. Is the thing they love about us, is the thing we are, and the thing we tether to, but it also will be our ultimate destruction, is that we love, we love. That you never say no. We don't say no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a no guy very much. Mm -hmm. I don't say no to fucking... Because I came from a place where there wasn't a lot worth saying yes to. Yeah. So now it's like you have all, you know what I mean? Like there wasn't anything happening. So now the shit's happening. You're like, whoa. Yes, I'll take I'm it. I'm fucking yes, dude. It's like, hell yeah. It's play and also just living by that old bale and hay while the sun shine and shit. Never jump off a winning horse. You know horse. what I'm saying? Never jump off a winning horse, as the Vegas woman would say. Mm -hmm. Never jump off a winning horse. Yeah. Fuck, I'll be saying that for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. You're trading up my make. Make hay while the sun shines. Make hay while the sun shines. Yeah. That's yeah. my fucking thing. So roll it thinner. Roll it thinner? Yeah. Okay. You got to get it kind of thin. Not kind of thin. It, we got it. Yeah. I hear the stone um, clicking. By the way, Stacey, I bet I could roll it out and cut it. I bet I could. I bet uh -oh. I could. Oh, we're getting gangsters. You mean instead of going through the crank? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We cheat at home. We have a pasta machine, and you just dump everything in it and turn it on. It's I've never wow. made homemade pasta. I think I'm going to try now. Second set of hands on the inside. Oh, wow. No, I just need... I feel like I'm rolling a joint. Okay, so my drug, 
if we're doing alcohol, is Prosecco. Oh, okay. They love Prosecco, my team. That's I all their shit. I love Prosecco. Yeah. Or Vovkliko. Um, and I, Jane Austen is my author. And TV show, I think, would be MASH. I oh. swear to God, I was going to say that Were as a you? joke. As a joke. No, I love MASH. But you know why I love MASH? Is I watched it every night with my dad. Oh. So it's a good, a good memory. It's a memory. It's a core yeah. memory. It was his mm -hmm. favorite show. Or Sanford and Son. We yeah. would watch one of those two every single night. Yeah. So that's mine. What's your drug, buddy? I think if I was going to have to be stuck somewhere, I would probably want to do mushrooms. Because oh. <laughs> I would want to just not be in reality. Yeah. And it's controllable and it's from the earth. Yep. Somewhat controllable. And then probably my TV show would be Roseanne. Because oh, I love man. Roseanne Barr. I just talked about Roseanne is a great <laughs> fucking TV show. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And then um, books would probably be um, like the Alice in Wonderland trilogy, just because I'd be on mushrooms. So yeah, right? I would want to just be like, yeah, you know, it, excellent choice. Yeah. 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 No, I'm going to cut it thin. I know what I'm going to do. I got this. I'm so fucking excited for this pasta. <laughs> I'm going to cut our pasta in little strips. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're hand cutting the pasta. I yeah. like it. Let's go, Baba. Are you going to twist them up? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> And uh, nope. They're going to be inconsistent in size. What's your, what's your... It's going to be Alfredo. Don't worry about and it. You'll enjoy it. Hey, are you on my team or no? Yeah. <laughs> Just say it. But the problem is here. You... No, there's no problem. Uh, it's got it. There's no problem. Trust me, trust me, trust me, wouldn't trust me. No one likes it. big, long pieces of pasta. No, but they're going to cook at different times because no. you guys are thinner. No, I, you. I, you... So if you put the thin and the thick in the same pot of water, you it's going to, you know, whatever. You know, we whatever. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just gypsies. Just saying. Leanne, just allow me the opportunity to be an artist. Uh, uh, what, Leanne, shut your mouth. I know what you're going to say. I, I wasn't going to say anything to this you. Is well, this is the box off, like, right? Look at this. Look yes. at this. Look at this. I'm just I love that you're fucking hand cutting pasta. I can't get over this. He, and yeah, he's so serious. This, this whole situation keeps yeah. taking turns. I don't see it. No, literally. You know, the beauty of cooking pasta this thick yeah. Is the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the water and toilet. Let's baby. see how we do it. You know, this is how they used to make it in Italy back when Mussolini ran the show. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I think so. Let's crank this up to high. And let's dump this pasta. Did you, hey, did you put, uh, put Pete? Perfect. Oh. Oh, this is awesome. This is going to be good. Yeah, we'll stir some sauces. Oh, let's get rid of this bad bitch. I just can't wait to plate this. And I this was once... a this was a meal. Thank you for doing this. No, this yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. yeah. So you... while this is cooking, you can do that, and then yeah. you put the cream and cheese in there. All right, great. I don't know, but it looks good. Let's see. Okay. Let's stir it. Oh. Do you normally do meals this extravagant for the show? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I was a little special for this show. I don't know. I've seen it all. Yeah. I've seen him do sandwiches. I've seen him do burgers. I've seen. I've seen uh, him do some wild shit. He's too, done also He's yeah. done all kind of stuff. I don't even know what yeah. that is. Isn't it a lamb shank? Oh wow! Yeah, he's oh. done some I real. Almost he's done some real shit. That. that looks so fucking pretty. Bro, every I've been waiting on you to open that, that just so to smell it. It smells amazing. It does. It smells so good. Right, you smell it right? You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Like whatever that is, love. That's where the crack is. The crack is right here. Give me a big old bowl of that. And the cream. Do you need to turn the volume down? Oh, it smelled that good. It didn't even have cream. Mm. Oh. It makes it pink. Ooh. Yeah. Right. It's where the, the vodka comes from. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. With the big old oh, cheese. Oh, shut. Someone's going to have to clean. Motherfucker. There's nothing sexier than food. Food is so fucking hot. And, you know, you think of, like, all the times in, in, the, in our world when, like, people just ate, you know, wolf or whatever. <laughs> Who thinks about that? Who, wolf? Who the fuck thinks By about the way, that? All right, I'm done talking. I'm done talking. I'm done talking. Like, that's ridiculous. Eat up another bottle of wine. No one eats wolf ever. Who would you ever catch a wolf? Bunny, I'm so proud of your sobriety. I really Thank am. You. It's so, really it's so that. fucking cool. The funny thing is, when we talk, when I talk to people about our sobriety, especially like the band and stuff, I'm like, I don't think y'all understand. I, me and Bunny partied together. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, Bunny. Bunny was a fucking wild fucking horse. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just a wild, <laughs> a untamed Mustang. fucking Mustang, dog. Yeah. It was fucking... And I tell just, people all the time, Bert, I married a tiger. No. You know what I'm saying? You know what oh, mean? I love an animal yeah. analogy. Yeah, I married, I married a, a rescue tiger. dog. Yeah. Aww, I, I'm I, sorry. But no, no, she been Hold tiger. On. Hold on, she been tiger on. railroad track. She been tiger Hold railroad on. track. Wait a second. <laughs> I am a panther. Yes, baby. Oh, that has wow. been yes, determined already. I love that. I am a panther. I am you not are. a rescue dog. Yeah, she's well, got a streak in her. Both of our chicks got penny stocks that fucking split. Yeah. No one bet on us. I just sometimes I tag ex girlfriends in pictures of me getting on private jets <laughs> just so they can go. Just wait, cause. why am I tagged in this? Just Who's she? Oh wait, that's Bert. Oh just fuck. Cause. I look at Leanne's ex boyfriends. Her cousin. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if he even knows who he I'm is. I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is. I don't even know if I can find any like. This might be one of my favorite no things I've ever shot in my life. <laughs> one in five Americans have learn a new language on their bucket list. If that's you, make 2024 the year you can finally check it off that list with Babbel. Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, a science backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick, 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. I learned on Babbel. You ready for this? Todo bien. I said that all week in Mexico. Todo bien. Do you know what that means, Rachel? Todo bien. All good. Que tal? Todo bien. I said it all weekend. I learned I, my Spanish was through the roof in Mexico. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash burning. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash burning, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash burning. Rules and restrictions may apply. I'm going to take these out and reduce this sauce. Cool, Stace? You need a bigger plate, honey. Yeah, I'm so fucking want, glad we did this. You want a bigger plate? No, 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 no. Guys, okay. guys, guys, guys. My fingers are fucking... Um, on fire? No. Here. That's Chachi mm. still eating stuff off the floor. Oh, no, 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 no. He's he went that way. way. I don't know. Chachi, I saw right him now. go that way. <laughs> okay. And then we reduce this. We have this. two dog beds in there. Our dogs come to work every day. Oh, I love that. Um, Chachi's a good me. boy. Every time yes, I do a podcast, he he's literally handsome. just sitting in my lap sleeping. Today, and like sometimes fella. you'll see his head pop up and he'll oh, look yeah. around and then he'll lay back down. He's so cute. He's yeah. such a good dog. He's the best. He's so good dog. Aren't reduce you? this. Right? Reduce this. So oh, That's reducing. Mama. So that listen, listen, amazing. Educate What is reducing? Is that your mama? Getting this uh, liquid to disappear. And the reason we have white wine so in good. there is that the sugar in the white wine is going to cook, uh, the, the alcohol in the white wine is going to cook down and leave the sugar in there. Okay. And it's going to be fucking amazing. See these bubbles? It's yep. reducing right now. And so you just want it to get thicker, and yep. then we'll drop these back in. This pasta should be done. And what we can do, take and that you're gonna pasta. And you're going to put that I'm going to take pasta, uh, probably three healthy chunks, put one in there, one in there, one in there, or maybe not in there. I might just top that on top of it and put them in it. And, and let them just soak in it. Yeah. But this is reducing right now beautifully. Oh, you can see it, Dave. Yeah. God damn it. This is a sexy sauce. It's like a phone party. Did you ever go to a phone party? Yes, one time. You ever go to a phone party? So Panama after City. It. Yeah, Panama, that's where they were? Yeah. Oh. Vegas, I was, too. I, Vegas does them. I, I don't have to measure what I say it because my buddy's like, we can take our dicks out. <laughs> I was like, because it was up to here. And you were like, what? Yeah. Like, Some girl just touched my dick. This is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I've been to a phone party. I, I was so itchy afterwards. His tongue sticks out of his mouth, huh? All the time. Yeah. Oh, it never goes back. His he breath looks at me smells like, like shit. Yo, you done cooking? Is he just pasta? laying there? Is he he's just, just staring at my, me, going, "What are you dropping next?" <laughs> <He's> <laughs> You're his like, new BFF. He's best like, yo, it's show he's ever been to, right? You gonna pull them noodles off? I think so. Let's go. Cool. Do you like them al dente or smushy? Uh, the question is, do you like them al dente, and how much egg do you like cooked in your pasta? <laughs> 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 no, the pasta is thick al dente. It's pretty fucking good. We just tried it. I just want to give it a second more. I want this to reduce a second more. And we're almost done. What time do we have? Oh, we got to get rolling. Let's so go. So how long are you in Vegas? We're fine, just two buddy. days? Two yeah, days? Yeah, we're fine. I can we're, push we're fine, back. brother. I can push back. That plane ain't going nowhere without yeah. her. Hey, that's the beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> that plane ain't going nowhere without yeah. her. Can you talk about 
growing up poor, what's the one thing you bought where you went, all right, I made it. That's like the first time I ever flew private, I was like, my dad never did this. Yeah. This is crazy. This is wild. I'll never forget this moment. Uh, buying a Mercedes. That for me was like a, my dad's shit. Yeah. What was the one thing where you spent money where like my family, my great grandfather would be shocked that our family is doing this right now? When I bought Bunny a G Wagon. Aww. I saw that G wagon. Yeah. Aww, that's so when sweet. I bought money in that, that G wagon, the that was the time for me. Whenever it was like, because that's the shit we dreamed about together. Like we'd be talking about like how I ended up with a basset hound. Like when you just don't have nothing and you're just hanging out all together and you're just like, if we ever make it, I want a basset hound with floppy ears. And she's right. like, I want, yeah. you know, I want a G wagon. I'm like, I want to, you know what I mean? Like we just start making those dreams up, laying in bed late at night, pillow talking, broke as fuck. And then it came Broke to fruition, and I wait, actually wait, wait, wait. got the Because listen, hold on, it gets even cooler, Bert. I bought her a Jeep first, a year, two years before I bought her the G-Wagon, because I didn't think I'd ever be able to afford the G-Wagon. In wagon. the video, he said, baby, I know it's not the G-Wagon, but this is all I can get. And this I was is what like, I can get. Aww. And I and got I her like, a Jeep, because to me, that was like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Fuck, I can afford this fucking, yeah. this Jeep. Like, this is awesome. And you it was a dope ass And I was like, I might not ever get to the G-Wagon, so. Okay, I have a question for you, right? Did you ever think that someone would love you the way he loved you? No, I didn't think that I would ever find a healthy love. I had lived off toxicity and pa like that, you know, that that horrible type of relationship. A love addiction shit. Yeah, and I never knew how to love property, properly. And him and I both didn't know how to do that. And we had to learn together. And that's what I say whenever I talk about us healing together is we had we didn't have examples of how to love. My dad's been married seven times. His My father was married six or seven times. Yeah. Well, I'm six. Wow, are well, you still making love? What's wow. the, you were born in Alabama, right? No, I was born in Georgia. You're technically yeah. on the Georgia My side? My mom's from Alabama. What's yeah. the, what's the, you know, there's a law. So <laughs> Alabama will let you marry as many times as you want, I think. But Tennessee really? and Georgia won't. There's only so many marriages. And all I know for sure is whatever that limit is in the state of Tennessee is how many times my father got married. Wouldn't you want to stop right after a while? Might be, while? Might be, I'm beating your dad on that. What is the point of getting married that many times? I don't understand it. It's crazy. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, after, I, after <laughs> like the fourth one, you want to be like, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Um, Ooh. But yeah, but uh, Ooh, Lee has speaking gangster. Yeah, but I, I, I don't really know. You yeah. know, it's not the way I chose to live my life. I didn't actually think anybody I would love. Why I would have anybody love me like you yeah. know. My and dad loved me unconditionally love. all the time. Yeah, but when we were first together, I actually said to him, "I don't think you want this." There's too much baggage here. I don't think you want it. It's too much trouble. Mm. And he kept going, but I do. Oh. But give it to me. And I was like, no, <laughs> I don't think you understand what you're asking for. Yeah. Like, my daddy lives in a convenience store. Right. My mom is on her sixth marriage. Store. It's a fucking shit show at my house. <laughs> and he goes, I want it. No, I don't think you want it. Let me oh. just tell you. And he just kept going, no, I do, I do, I do. And I never really thought that would happen for me. Yeah. All the money and all that stuff doesn't mean anything as much to me no way. as this does because sure. i never had an example of this no way and i really yeah. didn't think that it was possible money so. doesn't make i think people have the biggest misconception about money is it appreciated absolutely but it's i love like we just took a trip to utah just him and i a couple weeks ago and it meant the most to me because it was the first time neither one of us had our teams with each other we had to pull our own luggage we had to like camp out in this motel six <laughs> and it was like, pass. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like it was like the old bunny and jelly it was really and, good for us the old no, bunny and jelly. yeah, yeah and, and it was like i love us, that man. you know like before all this fucking shit you know what you know what the quote i live by is leanne is that What's money that? doesn't create care character it reveals it mm -hmm. you are right about that you know what i mean so yeah. it's like i think that just yeah but you are right about that fucking awesome to have for sure yeah, oh, for sure. oh saying, we're not complaining say, but Martin, we're saying great. it's not yeah like <laughs> okay. well what it gives you is relief right security yes yeah. security yeah. that's the biggest thing man. Security. security is like because mm -hmm. i think all of us at this this and this little double date share this one thing <laughs> for sure none of us grew up seeing security 
Mm-mm. No, no, no. None of us came from a security. Oh, you want to know what my dad's retirement plan was? It was twenty big block Chevy Motors in, in a in a chicken house that burned I love down. God. And when it burned down, he called me. He said, "I lost my retirement." And yeah. I was like, "What are you talking about?" He said, "I had twenty big block Motors. That was my retirement." Yeah. That's how I mean, his no savings account. Right. His oh. savings was twenty big block Chevy Motors. Oh. And I, I just didn't, you know, that's yeah. a very different way of thinking about life. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't even think my dad has a retirement plan. I think I'm his retirement plan <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Yeah. I know that to be fact. Yes. <laughs> my goodness. A, it looks so it's good. It's a trifecta of It's pasta. really starting to look good. Oh. I can't moments, believe it all came together. I didn't there was think it was going to happen. Guys, it hasn't work. come together yet. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Someone's got a big chunk of uncooked pasta. <laughs> I can't wait. It's probably going to be me. The most important part of it is the conversation. <laughs> yeah, not the absolutely. Food. <laughs> the food secondary, everybody. The cooking show. <laughs> <makes. Is> it... <laughs> cooking show adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> cooking show is a question mark at the end of it. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of rabbit. That's a lot of rabbit. It's a lot of rabbit. You made a little shy. You, you, yeah, you, yeah. you can make a little sparse over guys, here. Guys, you okay. can just try it. Okay. <laughs> it's like you you don't fish. have to eat the whole fucking thing. <laughs> eat the whole thing and you're 10 pounds heavier. Right? I'm going straight for the the vodka sauce. Should we all you know it's vodka sauce. Yeah. Should okay. we all go? Is it good? It's really fucking good. Is it? Is vodka it good? Sauce. No, the vodka sauce is fire. It's fucking fire. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the best thing about a sauce is it covers up any malfunctions you might have had in the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. All right, I'm going in for a scallop. A scallop. Oh, wow. Scallops are fucking undeniable. Wow. Mmm, that's pretty good. Mmm. Did you try a scallop, baby? That's mm-hmm. good, baby. It's very fresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the pasta is a tad bit al dente. I'll be the first to go into the rabbit, or dare I say, hair. And they say this is in Amsterdam. This is one of the best things to have on pasta. Is hair? How is it? Is. You happy? Not bad. It's got a stew feel to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Rabbit, baby, is it good? Rabbit's actually fire. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I gotta be honest with you, the vodka sauce is my favorite. Same. So yeah, the good. vodka sauce really delivers. What I like about pasta noodles is you only need one. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so thick. <laughs> that maybe could have cooked a little longer. Maybe a little bit longer. Oh, it's like eating a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you put it that a way. noodle sandwich. I gotta be honest with you, I wish I had just done one. And put the scallops in the vodka sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The scallops are yummy. Yeah, the scallops are so good. Mm. God, the <laughs> vodka sauce came out so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Say it, you fucking asshole. Say it. <laughs> I want the pasta more done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, edit that out. So you the like the pasta? Really you like the, 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 the pasta? The flavor is good. It's just the a little bit. You know, here's the thing: as I made this, because I wanted you guys to know that medium dicks are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> like, a lot of people want a big dick, but when it comes to pasta, too big can be. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> you're, that you're really reaching. Here. I cut them thin, but they even got bigger. <laughs> We should do a close-up on how big this pasta really is. Yeah, there's a few <laughs> strands in here. These are legit. <laughs> <laughs> they just need a little more time. Yeah. They just need a little, Hold little on. more time. That was almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Baby was hungry. Yeah, I was fucking starved. Uh-huh. Dog. It's fire. The vodka sauce is delicious. I it's will say these are the fucking fattest noodles I've ever had for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Them yeah. noodles the size of my thumb, Bert. <laughs> you don't need to eat for a You only week. need like three strands and you're full. But listen, for what it's worth, while I was watching it happen, there was multiple times it looked like a train wreck. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that it turned out this fire is fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Not just crazy, it's Yo, a miracle. <laughs> when you started when you started hand cutting the pasta, I was like, oh, we're getting dangerous. 
who do they think he is, Mussolini? <laughs> <laughs> that was your sales pitch, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> now they made it back That's how they back when Mussolini ran shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> this is the best. This is, I say this a lot, but this, I mean this. This is the best episode of Something's Burning I've ever done. I have not spoken a lot. And this has been the best conversation I've ever had. I absolutely adore you two. I mean that Thank from you. the bottom of my heart. You I are. I adore you guys. Mm. You so meet a lot talk. of people in this business, and you know this as I do. You meet a lot of people in this business that are that are awesome friends, but you wonder if you'll know them forever. Mm. Mm. I have to say this. I have a hard time making friends. I do. I just do. I, I, I'm meaning like letting people in. Brother, I love you with all my heart. I love you, bro. I love you so much. Thank Thank you. You. I love everything you do. I love everything you mm. do. More importantly, I love who you are. I love you, There's brother. a reason I cried when you gave that speech with Leanne in bed, and, and, and it's everything about you. Thank you, Bert. I'm so happy for your success. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing about, you asshole? <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing about? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like a confusing moment. It's like a confusing moment. What? Where was I? I want to kill her. I want to kill her. That was, Le- that was Leanne's it. let's make out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect way to end it. Guys, I love you to death. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Leanne, I love you. I love Funny. You. Yes. Thank you, brother. Jelly. Thank you I love for having you, brother. us. Yes. Thank, Thank you for having us. I love the fuck out of y'all. I was saying it too, and I mean it when I tell Bert this. He's got to swallow that big ass noodle. That's a fucking noodle, <laughs> son. That noodle was caught right there. I was like, y'all might be finna do it right here in front of everybody. I hit that vodka sauce one more time, though. Remember I'm talking about yeah, right? That's all I wanted to hear. Are That's you how you end an episode. Something's burning. This episode was brought to you by The Machine.